Hey guys, it's Ashley, and this is gonna be my reaction and recap for season five, episode twelve, taking this one to the grave. I'm about to watch the fatal finale of Pretty Little Liars. Oh my gosh. Okay, my predictions are. Sorry, I was I was eating. Um, are either Caleb, which is sad, Mona, Jason. <laughs> Should just throw random names out there so I could be right. I'm kidding. But yeah, Mona. Or Caleb, maybe Jason. I don't know. Like I just feel like he might. Or Melissa. Oh, why can't I forget about Melissa? I've been thinking Melissa this whole season, so I don't know. But I really think Mona or Caleb. So anyway, watching the live stream. Hopefully, it doesn't act up. So far, so good. It's running smoothly and everything. So let me just watch it. Oh my God. Okay. Previously on Pretty Little Liars. Wait. We're all in this together. You can't just become a policeman. Why not? Now, what if Toby dies? Because he's a policeman now. I don't know. Thanksgiving Day. Oh, that's a huge jump. Wait, where were they before? It's finally there. Why the grim faces? Did somebody die? This will definitely make us besties. I don't want to hold your hand in the hallways, Emily. <laughs> no one can know that I'm doing this if the deal's off. That was so unexpected. It's so weird to hear Christmas music. Your work Spencer's idea. No. 
What the heck? Why are you doing that? Bravo. Oh my god. It's a bit sad. Paige. Oh no, she's gonna see Allie there. What is up with those creepy ass twins? She gonna follow them? No, don't follow. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh my god, is Toby gonna die? Don't text old Charlie! It's Mona's house. Is something gonna happen to her? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Was that Allie? Oh my god, that's still creepy. That looks bigger than Allie. Oh my god, this is gonna be, not be good. This is not gonna be good. Game over, Allison. I win. Mom? Oh shit. Oh. Mona? Oh, a lot of stuff happened. Oh, I was gonna die. I... Oh. Okay, I didn't like Mona at all, but still, just sad. Who the hell was that, Ali? Really? I just think they're making Ali look too suspicious. The investigation is ongoing, but we have ruled this a homicide. We did not find a body. The amount of blood in the house would indicate that the victim's wounds are fatal. Oh, Mona Vanderwall was murdered. No! Oh. No! Isn't that one of the twins? Holy sh! That was. Oh my God. Is that? What the heck? What is this? What? <laughs> My god, I just can't believe that. I'm literally crying. Like, I'm literally tearing up right now. That was really sad. I don't know if you see my eyes, but I'm literally tearing up. And when they were zooming in Mona's eyes, I thought like her eye was gonna move or something. I had a feeling. Um, that was one of my death predictions that Mona was gonna die. It was just kind of pointing to her, like, there was just some hints, and, oh, no. I'm kind of sad, and also, I know that Janelle Parrish was working on a lot of other things, because I follow her Instagram, mm -hmm. and she's been, um, doing a lot of other projects, and acting, and uh, some plays, and stuff like that. So I not I'm not that surprised that her character got kicked off, but still it's sad. Like anytime any character dies, it's sad. No matter how much you hated them and all that. But oh my god, I <laughs> oh my god, I can't even. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm just glad it wasn't Caleb or anyone else that I really loved. That episode was crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quick recap because that was just mind-blowing and okay, I was kind of right at the same time uh, last week when I predicted that Mona was one of my predictions that she was gonna die 
um, it was still sad. I don't. Okay, so I didn't like Mona, but then I was starting to like her. I started to feel for her. Like, oh, she, you know, like, poor Mona, you know, she just wants friends. She's scared of Ali. And then what? She dies. Like, what the hell? That was just sad. Like, just thinking about it makes me want to cry. I'll just talk about, like, the things that I really enjoyed in this episode. Um, also, there's like this huge jump. Like, I'm not sure where it was set, like what time the other episodes, but this is close to Thanksgiving since we're gonna have our Christmas episode later this year. 36 hours before Thanksgiving. They first show Hannah, Emily, and Aria crying. And that should have been a, a clue right there that Spencer got arrested because then everyone was like, oh, um, I saw like some tweets that, oh, it looks like Arya is going to get arrested. I wonder who's going to get arrested. That should have been a clue right there. And I don't think none of us knew um, how Mona's house looked like. So we couldn't really tell. And get a Paley kiss. That was unexpected and I loved it. I just, I, ugh, that was just amazing. Let's see, Toby graduated from police school and Spencer gave him a cute little like um, necklace thing. Another necklace, but I got this big pendant thing that said, You're my once upon a time. Something like that. Dash S. And it was so cute. And they kissed. Luna joins the liars to finding out everything that Ali has said about them because she had to take a lie detector test at the police station. So Mona and Lucas, they use their hacking skills. And also Caleb helps her afterwards in finding out all of the stuff she said to the police and then they eventually find out that Ali is off the hook now the police are on to Spencer so then Spencer's all freaking out and the girl's like okay don't worry we have this and then what she gets arrested no she gets arrested but before that Spencer and Mona they sneak into Radley with um, nurse outfits and Hannah and Caleb are in the car and they have like earpieces and they're talking code to each other and Arya is work uh, volunteering at Radley too at that same day. Officer Hallbrook is there because he's like questioning Arya about Spencer and why is she there and it was Spencer's idea that she worked there. It was just really creepy. He was like interrogating her. And so Spencer is supposed to meet Toby at like I don't know, some kind of ceremony thing and He's like trying to get in contact with her, but she's at Radley. He's driving on his phone, and I'm like, oh no, this is bad news. I actually thought he was going to die at this point, because, I don't know, I just had this weird feeling that something was going to happen. So he's on his phone, like trying to get to Spencer. He's like, Spencer, I can't hear you, because there's some kind of drop call. And you see a light flash, and he's like, whoa, and it's bah! And so you're like, oh, shoot. Um, also, around this time that happened, Paige was gonna visit Emily because Emily wasn't feeling well and she was gonna bring over soup or something um, And but before she went over Ali was at Emily's house and at this point all the girls think Ali is a Ali like talking to Emily in her room and Emily is kind of like being nice to her and but she's kind of being cautious about her because you don't really know like you know, they think that she's A. Somehow Allie gets Emily's phone and she's like, Oh, this wasn't your mom. This is Hannah and you're and you think I'm A and and so Emily just goes up to her and says that how does it feel that the loyal one um, turns on you or something like that. So it was something like that. But I was like applauding Emily for standing up to her again. And Allie doesn't really say much, she kinda just bumps Emily on the shoulder and that's when she's leaving Emily's house and Paige is about to go to Emily's house and she realizes that Allie's ride was those two twins those twin girls those creepy nerd twin girls that were on Mona's team before was it Cindy and Mindy I don't even know but they were her ride and then Paige goes back into her car and follows them which I thought that was a bad idea so people were thinking on Twitter that oh my gosh what if it was Paige that crashed into Toby but thank god it wasn't then the next day it's giving day and they're at the brew I think and we see Toby in a wheelchair with a huge cast on his leg so he's alive thank god I mean 
it could have been much worse. Paige comes in and she tells the girls about um, how she followed Cindy and Minnie and Allie and they took her to some kind of like barn or something. Was it that? I can't remember. So much things happen. But yeah, so they're wondering like what's up with that and how Allie is like forming her own army. And then all of a sudden the police come in and they arrest Spencer. They're like, you're under arrest. And then the girl's like, wait, you can't do that. And then Toby's like, wait, wait, Spencer. And then they're like, you're under arrest for killing Bethany Young. And so yeah, they drag, they take her out of there and they handcuff her. Uh oh, this isn't good. <laughs> and then there's only a few minutes later till the episode ends. And then we see Mona and her mom. Yep, Mon her mom was in this episode. And I don't know if her mom is going to be shown again. But I really like her mom. She's nice. <laughs> that was really random. Mona's mom is going off somewhere. She says bye to Mona. And so she leaves. And I'm like thinking, oh, this is suspicious as hell right now. Because Mona's like looking around and you can tell someone is like creeping around, you know, like she's looking at like the bushes. She goes inside and then you see someone with a black hoodie with like blonde hair. And they never show the face. They kind of just show from down here like like curls of blonde. And then Mona locks her door and she kind of looks outside, doesn't see anything. Um, and then she, does she call, she calls Aria? No, she calls one of the girls. I can't remember who she called or texted. But she, she has enough proof to prove that Ali is A. Supposedly. <laughs> and she's listening to all these tapes that they got from Radley. Oh, also, also when Spencer and Mona was in Radley, they got hold of all these tapes. And we found out that Miss Delorentis was sing around with Bethany's dad. <laughs> that that was really messed up. Like I was like, what? And Bethany Young talking and she, let me tell you, she sounds like Allison. Like she really does sound like Ali. I mean it, in a way she did, but at the same time she didn't. So anyway, we're back at Mona's house. She's alone. She's in her room and then we see this A person picking the lock, going up to Mona's room and then Mona's talking in her mirror and she's like I know you're A Ali or I got you all figured out something like that she turns around and she's like <gasps> see Arya and Ezra they're like oh we're going to Mona's house because uh, uh, Mona f figured it all out that Ali's A so they rush to Mona's house Arya, Ezra, Emily and Hannah they go into her house and they're like screaming Mona you see blood on the walls and as and like couch cushions all on the ground as if like they got into a brutal fight or something they go upstairs and then we hear hannah screaming her lungs off and then that's when we know well actually we already knew but still it was like oh my god and then then we see all the police all around with the tape all around and mona's mom is crying and um officer hallbrook declares that Mona was murdered. There was no body found, but with all the blood, they can detect that she was murdered brutally and all. And just Mona's mom is just like crying because that's her own daughter. Like, that was just really sad. And then Lucas, he's like, he can't believe it either. And then they're showing all the girls. Well, not all the girls because Spencer's locked up in jail. But like the other three, they're like, they can't believe it. And Paige is there. It was like, oh my gosh, it was so sad. Like, why would... Oh, it's sad. And then, then we see A at Emily's house because Emily, she was, like, all into, like, this Christmassy mood <laughs> earlier in the episode and she was decorating. Nativity scene um, in front of her yard. A takes away the baby Jesus, replaces it with some doll, like a girl doll with glasses. So it looks like one of the twins, like those suspicious, creepy twins. And goes to their car, opens the trunk, there's a dead Mona with like blood right here and her eyes are like shot open but they're like she's like dead. You can tell that she's been dead for a few hours. And and then she, and then they put the the baby Jesus doll next to her. And then that was the end. And that was just like messed up. And that was just weird. What did you guys think of this episode? I loved it. 
I, I mean, I hated it at the same time because Mona died and it was just a messed up ending. But it was like, oh my gosh. And I think, I don't think Allie is A. I really don't. I think she, yeah, she's suspicious and all. But they always do this. They always make someone look suspicious. There's still two and a half more seasons to go. I don't think they'll say that, oh yeah, Allie's A and then that's it. And they'll play it on for two more seasons. I, I don't know. I That's my opinion. I think that they'll like whoever killed mona was not ali even though they showed ali outside and she was kind of she wasn't crying she was just kind of like that with arms crossed yeah i think it was just a in a blonde wig and it would look like a different shade of blonde that ali has it looked too like pale blonde like brighter blonde than ali's hair so that was someone else in a blonde wig and they looked bigger than ali like it looked like kind of like a guy but i can't tell who that was that was obviously not lucas Ali, no. I don't know. Melissa, no. I don't really know who that would be. You guys leave me comments what you think. And yeah, and I can't wait for the Christmas episode. That's gonna be something, right? And I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. All of my Pretty Little Liar recaps and reactions and reviews means the world to me that people like watching it. And I love reading you guys' comments and feedback. And I'll be back recapping, re reviewing, and uh, reacting to the Christmas episode. And then I'll be back in January when it um, the second half of season 5 starts. And it's such a good show, man. Anyway, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye. I'm getting emotional thinking of Mona dying again. <laughs>